BBC Radio 1 founding DJ Chris Denning is cleared of abusing an underage boy. A founding BBC Radio 1 DJ has been cleared of abusing an underage boy while serving a 13-year jail term for a catalogue of historic sex offences. Chris Denning, 76, of Basildon, Essex, was said to have indecently assaulted a 14-year-old boy on multiple occasions between March 1979 and March 1981. He also took an indecent photo of the child during the same period, it was said. Graham Soper, 58, of Caterham, Surrey, was claimed to have been the first to abuse the child but charges were also dropped against him, it can be revealed. The prosecution dropped the case against Denning and Soper on June 13, but this could not be reported due to the trial of pop personality Jonathan King, taking place at the same court. King was accused of grooming 11 boys but his case collapsed due to prosecution disclosure blunders and all charges against him have been dropped. Denning was jailed for 13 years in 2014 after admitting abusing 24 boys, some as young as 9, using his celebrity status to lure them into his clutches. He groomed the youngsters with gifts, invites to celebrity parties and drugs and alcohol before molesting them. Denning was then handed a concurrent 13-year term in October 2016 after he offered the very well-known Radio 1 DJ a boy for sex at his bungalow in the 1980s. The victim was aged just seven when he first met Denning at his shop and came to see him as a father figure. The BBC star then began to sexually abuse the boy in a bedroom above the shop between 1980-1984, telling him it was their secret. Chris Denning had left his London grammar school aged 15 and began his radio career at Radio Moscow. He then took up posts on Radio Luxembourg and Radio London. Denning was among a team of BBC disc jockeys who launched Radio 1 in the 1960s. Denning was one of the first voices of the world-famous station and worked alongside household names including Tony Blackburn, Kenny Everett, Terry Wogan and John Peel. The DJ also worked for record label Decca for two years and helped propel Gary Glitter and the Bay City Rollers to stardom. He was one of the first voices of the radio station and worked alongside household names including Tony Blackburn, Kenny Everett, Terry Wogan and John Peel. But the shamed celebrity's career was halted after he was convicted for offenses against children 40 years ago. Since 1974 he has racked up prison sentences of 18 months in 1985, 3 years in 1988 and 3 months in 1996. He was jailed for 4 years in a Czech prison in 1998 and given a further 5 years in 2008, for either having sex with young boys or producing child pornography. Denning worked for Radio 1 and was also employed as a Radio 2 announcer and music producer. He was one of a gang of men including King who targeted youngsters at 1970s disco The Walton Hop in Walton upon Thames, Surrey. The Hop, nicknamed Britain's first disco, was held three times a week in the small Playhouse Theatre. Denning had been working for King's company UK Records, but was later sacked by King. King was later jailed for seven and a half years for child sex offences in 2001. Police were savaged for their disastrous handling of Jonathan King's fourth trial on child abuse charges. The producer, who had already served three and a half years for molesting children, went in the dock again in June accused of grooming eleven boys. But proceedings were halted because police had failed to disclose evidence and covered up investigatory blunders. In a withering ruling, Judge Deborah Taylor blasted police and prosecutors. She said Surrey police pursued the case not in the interests of justice but to repair their reputational damage over failings in the Jimmy Seville case. King said yesterday that he would seek to overturn his 2001 conviction. Denning was arrested in April 2013 under Operation Utree, the Metropolitan Police probe launched in the wake of the Jimmy Seville abuse scandal. Prosecutors had alleged Soper and Denning abused the boy after he was attacked by another man who was since committed suicide. The pair had appeared in the dock at Southwark Crown Court on June 13, the same day King went on trial. Denning denied two indecent assaults and one offence of taking indecent images of a child. Soper entered not guilty pleas to four counts of indecent assaults and one count of indecency with the same child, 
and the charges were dropped by the prosecution. Denning denied two counts of indecent assault and one of taking indecent photos of a child. Soper denied four counts of indecent assault and one of indecency with a child and was bailed.